Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial on volcanoes. Before I start with the lesson just remember to check out our other videos on examinvision.ie subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash examinvision and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Okay so today's lesson is going to be based on chapter 1 restless earth and we're going to look at volcanoes. So where do you find volcanoes? Well, volcanoes are very similar to earthquakes. You find them along the Pacific Ring of Fire, so along plate boundaries. You might ask yourself, how does the, how do how do volcanoes actually happen? Well, basically, in the mantle you've got the hot molten rock, and when the plates start to separate, or they start to uh, collide, so destruct the plate boundaries. Magma will find its way up through cracks or fissures into the crust to create new landforms. There are three main landforms associated with volcanic activities, and they are mid-ocean ridges, volcanic islands, and volcanic mountains. So, like I said, uh, there are three main landforms that are created because of volcanic activity, and they are volcanic islands, mid-ocean ridges, and volcanic mountains. For your junior certificate examination, you need to know what these are. Okay, so what are volcanic islands, what are middle ocean ridges, and what are volcanic mountains? So the first one, volcanic islands, and these are islands that are created because the magma seeps up through the cracks or through or the fissure, cools, and actually forms land. A really good example of this is along the mid Atlantic ridge. And a country that was formed because of these volcanic islands is Iceland. Many tourists are attracted to Iceland because of its unusual volcanic scenery and because of its hot spring geysers which rise from the ground. Okay, the second one is the Mid-Ocean Ridge. And these are a series of mountains that form the ocean floor because of volcanic activity. In the Atlantic Ocean there is a chain of mountains known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge which form because the American plate is pulling away from the Eurasian and African plates. So this, mi these mid-Atlantic ridges, these mid-ocean ridges form at constructive plate boundaries, just like the volcanic islands, and this movement releases magma, which form a series of mountains along the ocean floor. And the last one we're going to look at is volcanic mountains. These happen at constructive plate boundaries when the plates are separating, what happens is the magma moves up through the vents and comes out the the crater. When the magma reaches the surface, it cools quickly. Over time, the volcanic uh, the volcano will erupt over and over again, and the lava flow will actually build up, forming like a cone shape. When the lava actually cools, it forms rock, and over time, it forms a volcanic mountain. A good example of this volcanic mountain will be Mount Saint Helens which is a, along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Okay, so we're going to look at some volcanoes now. And first of all, I just want to show you what a typical volcano looks like. You've got a few different things that you need to know about a volcano. So down here, you've got the magma chamber. Okay, this, this is where the magma is actually stored before it comes up through the main vent. The main vent is where the magma will come up before it comes out of the volcano. The whole shape of it, if it's shaped like a cone, is the whole thing is known as a cone. When the magma actually comes out and comes onto the Earth's surface, it's not called magma anymore, it's now called lava. The crater is where the, where the magma actually comes out of the volcano. Sometimes you get what's known as a secondary cone, and the secondary cone yeah, happens at bigger volcanoes, and it's when the magma actually finds its way through fissures or through cracks and creates an extra crater. And the last bit is the layers of ash and lava. So the first layer is going to be lava because the lava will cool and then you'll get a layer of ash. Then the next layer will be lava and then you'll get the layer of ash. Then you get the layer of lava. Then you get the layer of ash, lava, ash. And now what's going to happen now is this lava is going to run down here And this lava is going to run down here and it's going to form a layer 
of lava when it cools, when the lava cools. And then what will happen is when this gas and ash and all this dust eventually falls and settles, it'll form this layer of ash. And it's just repeats itself over and over again. And what's, happen what's happening to the volcano is it's growing, it's getting bigger and bigger. So, you have three different categories of volcanoes. So you've got an active volcano. You can have dormant volcanoes. And the last one, you can have extinct volcanoes. You need to know the difference between the three different categories. The first one, active, means that it erupts regularly. An example would be Mount St. Helens. A dormant volcano means it's not erupted for a long time, but may erupt again. And extinct means that there's been no eruption in record history. Okay, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial on volcanoes. If you did enjoy it and you found it useful, please, 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 can you leave me some feedback? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can go onto our website if you would like to get more uh, tutorials. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all our latest tips, news, hints and latest activity that we're doing. Thanks guys.